Welcome to episode two of Super Sundays. Today, TJ's got a new recipe he's gonna do. He's gonna tell us about what he's doing. What you got? All right, first off, we're gonna do some super fall stuff. Spaghetti squash, fall. Leeks, kind of fall. Chipolinis, fall. Mushrooms, eh, kind of fall. Tomatoes, not really fall, but they're good. Is anything fall? Yeah. Brussels sprouts, they're kind of fall too. Actually, nothing's really fall here. But it feels like fall because it's roasted, it's warm, it's wholesome. It's just good. It's good family food. We herb roasted chicken as well. We're cooking cast iron because we do that. Just gives a lot of better flavor, I guess. But pretty much, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these squash roasted. But I think me and Chris are in the wrong kind of clothes. Yeah, we need to a change. Clean. You ready? Yeah. So, we got our cooking uniforms on, got my Waffle House uniform from when I was a manager at Waffle House. This just says my name. He's got a chef uniform. All right, we're gonna get these squash roasting, first thing. First things first. So a lot of people, when they roast squash, they cut it kind of whatever this way is, vertically. But I'm gonna cut it down the center. Kind of looks like that right there. Once you get that done, we're gonna go over here or a sheet pan, got a little bit of water in it, that's it, just water. Usually when you roast squash you don't really need water in the pan, but we're using these to make noodles, just going to keep it from them edges burning, just give it a little bit prettier noodle. Is it clean enough? Yep, it's pretty good. Here's what we're looking at. You can also do this after you've roasted a little bit, it's a little bit easier. Focused. You just you just setting it in there. Yep, just setting it in there. Okay. What that water does, it just kind of steams it, helps it cook a little bit faster, avoids it from getting burnt. It doesn't give it that nice roasted flavor. I keep it if you just did it just dry. But we just need the noodle part of this wash. So these guys are done, all cleaned out. Get them in the pan with water. Show the camera what you got. So I mean, just just a little bit of water. About no oil, no salt, nothing. In here. Got our oven preheated to 350. About 30 minutes, we're gonna check it. While that is going, we're gonna get our little baby chicken broke down. So we're gonna break this chicken down real quick. You can buy the already broken down chicken, your normal eight piece cut, wherever you wanna get. If you like breasts, just get breasts. If you like thighs, get thighs. If you like little legs, just get the legs. Whatever you want. But bang for your buck, get your whole chicken. Break it down. I'm gonna take your knife and go right down that middle bone, a few slices like that. The big thing with this is you wanna keep that skin as intact as you can. That's gonna be your flavor. You wanna get that good and roasted. I'm gonna go down the other side. Get the chicken. Again, just real smooth. Cuts like that. Skin on, again, perfect little breast. Then, you can get your thighs and your legs. And all you gotta do with those, you got a little bone right there, you're just gonna work around it. And just peel it totally off. Again, skin still intact, flavor. If you don't like the skin, you're more than welcome to take it off. Okay. There you go. And again, you can break it down further to just the thigh and leg. But I think tonight, Chris likes to eat a lot, so we're going to leave them like that. Second thing, wings. Just pop that joint out. Take your knife. Boom, pop that joint, cut it out, there you go. This six cut, of course eight cut, thigh, leg, we're just going to do this. This will definitely feed a family of Chris, that's it. <laughs> if you got to feed more than that, get another chicken. You can throw this away or you can make some chicken stock if you want to, onions, celery, carrots, 
water, chicken bottom. It's washed in the oven, chicken is done. Now we're gonna get the rest of the vegetables. It's not done, it's cut. It's done. It's we're just done. gonna eat it raw. We're gonna eat it raw. That's All right, what are we on now? All right, here are some vegetables to go with the spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. What have you got there? Got some leeks. Got leeks. Chris got the cipollinis. Cipollinis. We've already cut one. He kind of showed me what he wants out of it. We're gonna fry these up. Huh? We're gonna kind of caramelize them. With caramelize the them. It's just like a little onion. Cut it in half. Cut the ends off. That's it. Cut the layer off. So I'm gonna do these. He's gonna work on the leeks. And we've also got mushrooms right here. And so we're gonna get all this cut up. And then we'll go from there. You're gonna take that big green leafy part. You can leave it, take the turkey on Sunday, have your fan. Then we're gonna take that big stalk, cut that in half, cut the ends off, and peel that outside layer off, the good inside clean layer. The same thing with the other one. Then pretty much we're just gonna want real thin little slices of it. I'm gonna throw them in with Chris's Cipollini's right there. Cause they're all gonna get cooked at the same time. That's the big thing with cooking is just knowing when to throw in stuff, what can be cooked together, what you can do while other stuff's cooking, like the squash cooking right now, so we're cutting up all the other stuff. It's good time management in the kitchen. Now we've got the cipollini and leeks cut up, and we've got the mushrooms cut up as well. We're working on uh, what are these again? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. I've never had those. Got those gonna cut up. He's gonna show me what he's wanting on those. And what are you doing with them? All right, first off, don't boil Brussels sprouts. It's gross. It tastes like cabbage. They're not good. What you do, cut them in half, peel back some of the leaves, get you a big sheet pan, put some butter on it, a little salt and pepper on it. If you like bacon, put some bacon grease on there. Put them half side down, or the big flat side down. Roast them in the oven about 10, 15 minutes, 400 degrees. They're delicious. They taste like little angels. All we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the bottom off of them. The little stem thing. Yeah, little stem thing. Just a little bit of it. Okay. Two of the leaves should fall off. Yeah, I've seen that. And then we're just gonna cut it straight in half. Oop, leaves still fall off. So Chris got them leaves off. Just cut them like that. Long ways. Okay. Just long ways. So here's what we're looking at. We've got our Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Just cutting up the rest. We've got our other stuff here. Spaghetti squash is almost done. We got about five more minutes on it. But while that's cooking, I got some chicken stock, a little bit of lemon juice. No real measurements. You can do it pretty much however you like. You really don't need any more liquid added to the squash, but just I just feel like doing it today. But we're gonna let that kind of reduce down a little bit. Right now and everything, when that squash comes out, I'm gonna start cooking the chicken. Get it nice and crispy. I'll show you how to do that. It's real simple. When the chicken goes in, it's gonna take about 20 minutes to finish off in the oven. And that's gonna give the squash time to cool down. Give it time to get all those cipollinis and leeks nice and caramelized. Get the mushrooms cooked down, get the tomatoes cooked down. Probably throw the Brussels sprouts in the oven too with the chicken. Chris is gonna blow stuff up. But when the butter gets melted, we're gonna put it on the pan, Brussels sprouts on it, a little salt and pepper. This on pan? It. That pan. This pan. That pan. Put it's it in the oven. Okay. About the same time the chicken goes in. Because that should get done about the same time. That's about it. Alright, we got some melted butter. Put it in the microwave. You can melt it on the stove. So give it a butter. You can do oil, you can do canola oil, olive oil, grape oil, whatever you want to do. Take a little bit of salt, put a little pepper in the butter. What have you got going right here? Alright, this is the same chicken stock lemon juice. I added a few sprigs of thyme. Chicken stock sprigs. lemon group, lemon juice, thyme, and rosemary. rosemary. Just all Add that in. Now I'm just going to layer Brussels sprouts on that butter. Get you a view of that. You can definitely use a bigger pan lost our pan today, so we'll be okay. But yeah, you ain't got to worry about overcrowding these guys. I mean, they can be all up on each other. So 
So what are you going to do with those? Again. These are going to go in the oven when the chicken goes in. Okay. Which is going to be when the squash comes out. And we'll caramelize these. And it'll be it'll real be nice. nice. And beautifully brown on the bottom. And I think you have a person in your family that does not like Brussels sprouts. This is this is the way to get them to be like, oh my god, I love Brussels sprouts. So, yeah, Brussels sprouts on the pan. Get a little more salt. Sprinkle that on top like that. Pepper. Lay that all over it. So they're kind of swimming in the butter now. It's okay. That's good. There's what we got. Got butter and salt and pepper. Wash on. So you can part two of those. Mama, mama, mama. We're going to check on our spaghetti squash. Bum, bum, bum. All right, coming out super hot. Be so careful. Be so, so careful. Don't put the camera in front of the squash when you're doing this. Super dangerous. All right, they've been in about 30, 35 minutes now. Now, we're going to go and crank our oven up. 400. 400. Now, when you take these off, when, you're, when you flip them over, there's going to be a lot of steam coming up. So just be ever so careful. A lot of steam. Flip it over this way. All right, so we got that right there. Best way you can tell this is done, take your fork, and if it goes in pretty easy, then you're good. Again, we don't really want ours cooked that much because it's going to be kind of like noodles. Now we're just going to let it kind of cool down. Do you need to leave them cooling down upside down or yep. so face leave them, down? We're going to leave them just like that. They're going to keep cooking a little bit, keep steaming, keep releasing stuff. There's our um, little mixture concoction that we were talking about earlier. Now we're going to get on to the bulk of the meal. The second the chicken goes in the oven, Brussels sprouts go in as well. But good layer of oil, we're going about medium heat. We got our chicken. Going to give it a good coating, salt and pepper. Which what you want to do is you're going to peel that skin back just a little bit and make sure you season inside of that skin. And then you're going to just wrap it back over. Yep. Just going to take that skin off, season skin back. Skin gets seasoned too. Chicken wing, can't really do it. This might go out to Rosie. Rosie's the dog. She'll be featured later. Flip these guys over. Good liberal amount of pepper. Flip that back over. Pepper on the skin. Pepper up under the skin. We're looking good. They're going to be so tasty. That's literally all you need. Salt, pepper. We got everything seasoned. Salt, pepper. Got the skillet hot, and we're gonna hopefully get it fried immediately if it's hot enough. Do you want? Turn that one up. Pretty much, you're gonna take all this, put it down in there. You can hear the sizzling. Don't you like that? Medium low heat. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to get that skin nice and crispy before it goes in the oven. Get you another close up view here. Got them frying up. Heat again is on low right now, medium low. Right now, chicken's been in here about four or five minutes. It is starting to crisp up. All the chicken is now released from the pan, which is what you want to wait for. We're going to take a few of these sprigs of rosemary, just kind of break them up. And that's just going to infuse that chicken with that rosemary. Got a little thyme too. Put a little bit of thyme on it. Feel the heat. I'm going to leave that skin side down and going into the oven. Whole pan. 100 degrees. While that's in as well, I'm going to throw the Brussels sprouts in on top of it and close her up. So right now we've got all the chicken in the oven, we've got the Brussels sprouts in the oven, and we've got the spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash over here. Now what, what's for now? Like how long do we keep this in the oven? We're going to leave that in there about 20 minutes. At 400 degrees. 400 degrees. Then we're going to check it. 
165, chicken. Done. That's where you need one of these. I got this when I was at Waffle House. It's just a thermometer, digital. Works good for checking temperatures on liquids or you can stick it in meats and tell what your temps are. So now we're gonna clean up a little bit. Then we're gonna get started on the cipollinis and leeks, mushrooms, tomatoes, and squash. Now we're gonna get cipollinis and leeks, get them cooking, get them cooked down, caramelized. We're also gonna blister the tomatoes. That's just real hot heat, oil, tomatoes. Do we cut them or just, just like they are? Whole tomatoes. Just baby Skin little. Skin will get real nice and what type of tomatoes? sunburst. Sunburst. Tomatoes. Publix had them. That was pretty cool. Now, our lemon juice and chicken stock is now reduced down to where it's pretty low. We're just going to add a few pads of butter in there. And roll that around. You want to reduce that down to where it's just about dry. And then you're just going to let it just slowly melt in to that chicken stock and lemon juice. Put that back on there, off the heat, so that butter just slowly melt into it. Cut this on. Medium high heat. Let that warm up. Same time. Gonna cut that guy on. Gonna let these guys warm up and we'll come right back. Alright, so oils have heated up now. The butter and the chicken stock and lemon juice have totally reduced down to a perfect little sauce. We got some rosemary and thyme. Just chopped up, dropping the oil in there. That oil is hot. Yeah, I'm good. Just gonna put a little bit of that in there. A little bit goes a long way. Super strong stuff, super condensed flavors. It's gonna be good. All right, Chris is gonna go and throw them cipollinis and leeks all in. Everything, everything at once. Not that fast. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. Saute them around a little bit. You can use your hands if you're a man. I'm gonna throw all these tomatoes in my pan. That's the sound you want. But the trick is, you just want to keep them moving around. Look how much bigger that one tomato is than other tomatoes. I think that's the one I picked up earlier. Like, he is so big. I'll let them cook. The skin will start bursting open. The juice will start being released. At the same time, you can move them around a little bit. Release the <laughs> ah! Oh! oh no! Alright, he's back in. He is a slippery little guy. Alright, Ashley's gonna help me get this spaghetti squash out. She's never had it until a while ago when she tasted it. All you gotta do is spaghetti squash. Once you cook it like this, you're gonna take your fork. And you pretty much just dig in there and just twist it. And all the pretty little noodles will come out. All the way around the squash. And that's pretty much why it's called spaghetti squash. It looks just like spaghetti. But we're going to dump all that into a bowl. This is really hot on my hand. You can see the steam coming off. I'm gonna let Ashley do that with the glove on. Now, I got the tomatoes kind of cooked down a good bit. I'm gonna throw the mushrooms in with the tomatoes. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt to the mushrooms, help them get all nice and cooked up. While he's cooking, I'm just stirring the uh, what are these leeks and what do you say? Cipollinis. Cipollinis up. They will start to break apart. Yeah. Like is that right good or bad? It's okay. Okay. This is a vegetarian's dream. I'm not a vegetarian, but this, this dish makes me want to be a vegetarian. We're vegan, just minus the butter. And the chicken. And the chicken. You can add a little salt and pepper. It's kind of go along. I'm not going to add any salt or any pepper to Chris's chipolinis and leeks. I'm just going to let them 
kind of naturally do their thing. How you doing over there, Ashley? I mean, look at all that spaghetti. You don't have to pull water. You ain't got to get the package out. You just put them in the oven, get your girlfriend to scrape it out for you. Look at that. Oh, look at the Brussels sprouts. Chicken is looking gorgeous. Brussels sprouts also looking gorgeous. Man, I'm hungry. Ashley has got her completed spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. She's going to put it in the big white bowl. Spaghetti noodles in. Next, we're going to take the mushrooms, the tomatoes. I put a little bit of rosemary and thyme, we chopped up, a little salt and pepper. That is also going to go in. So we got our mushrooms in. Then we're going to take our cipollinis and our leeks. This, I've got really brown, real good and caramelized. Alright, I'm going to let Ashley stir that all together. Get it real nice and mixed. But again, it is just like spaghetti noodles. While she's doing that, I'm going to pull out the good stuff. Moment of truth, we're going to get these Brussels sprouts out first. They are totally caramelized on top. Bottom's going to look probably twice as good as that. Next, we got the chicken. Moment of truth, we'll flip those over and see just how good that's looking awesome. Alright, moment of truth time. Will the chicken look good? That good skin on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll flip one of these over too and just kind of see. They didn't get as brown as I wanted to. But that's okay. I bet they're still good. It's hot. We're good. Pretty much just get you a big old spoonful of your skitty squash. Scrape up a few of these Brussels sprouts. Get you that good looking chicken leg. Place it right like that. Then we got our chicken stock, lemon juice, and butter. Pretty much you just can pour that over pretty much everything. That can be pretty good. That's about it, folks. That is fall cooking at its best. Look how happy she is. Well, thanks for watching episode two of Super Sundays. We might do something next week. Maybe not. We'll just see. It may be food. It may not be. But this looks pretty good, and we're going to try it out and see what we're looking at, what we're working with, and That's go good. from there. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, guys.